Hi guys, today we are going to go to Pottery Barn. Let's go. We have been working so hard on the basement laundry room that I need to do something fun. So we are going to go into Pottery Barn. Now, my Pottery Barn is at the Fancy Mall and I will show you pictures of it. It is absolutely beautiful. It's captivating. I can't wait to show you and I can't wait to get in there so we can go shopping together at Pottery Barn. Now, I'll probably not buy anything and if I do, I'll show you. But I am so going to oogle the uh, fall stuff that Pottery Barn is uh, putting out. But also, I have an ulterior motive for going to Pottery Barn. I do have a Pottery Barn dresser that is very vintage. Um, in fact, I got it from my sister who used it for her five girls and her oldest girl is 22, 23. So vintage for sure. But it has been through, you know, five girls plus Gracie plus Max. So it's gone through seven children and it has held up phenomenal. Except for the top. The top is a little bit uh, worse for wear. So that is what we're going to kind of refinish. But I wanted to pop in to Pottery Barn just to see their newer finish. Now, if you haven't seen the video on my channel about how to get the Pottery Barn, barn look using two materials a glaze and a paint head over there and check that out we're also going to check out some of their things at the pottery barn kids now at this particular mall the grown-up version of the pottery barn is located in the mall and on the outside of the mall is pottery barn kids and teens i am so excited so let's get in there come on guys At this particular pottery barn, there are three entrances. This first entrance is all about kitchenware, your barware, and then they also had outdoor furniture. On this console area is where they displayed their barware and these faux olive stems which looked very lifelike. I also picked up some marble coasters. And I'm looking at the finish on this console. It is beautiful. Um, I feel like it's too dark for me, uh, for the desk that I, the finish that I'm trying to go for. But I love the wood texture and that you can see the grain. And in a future video, we are going to do a deeper dive on some of the products here. And welcome to the Halloween collection.
The Banks Dining Console. This is where I took my inspiration for that finish I show you on my channel. Welcome to the fall collection. We're going to take a deeper dive in the products that you see here, but we're gonna take a moment and just get some inspiration from this fall display. These glass pumpkins caught my eye. They, the smaller one was heavy, but that larger of the two was very substantial. I online window shop and what I mean by that is I peruse the Pottery Barn website and then I throw the things that I really love in my cart uh, but I never buy them. One of those things are these salt and pepper shakers and then the other thing is that soup tureen that is right above it. Comment down below if you do the same. If you window shop the Pottery Barn website and you throw the things in your cart just to see them later and never buy them. I am in love, in love with this tablescape. I love the placemats, the plates, the napkins, the, the utensils, that uh, leaf plate on top. I love, 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 love this tablescape. If I do happen to buy um, a holiday kind of like decor, I'd like it to be multi-purposeful, such as these chargers. I think that this would work great for Halloween, but it will also look great for Thanksgiving. And this is the finish that I'm gonna to try to duplicate on that desk that I have. And I love that round mirror and the round wreath. I am getting such inspiration and I cannot wait to do that in my own home.
Let's take one more look at this stunning display and I will meet you at home. So guys, we are back home from our big adventure. I just want to let you know that I filmed for like four hours. So I have so much more video clips to give to you guys. So what I'm planning on doing is I'm going to kind of section them off and deliver them in short chunks to you guys because that store was phenomenal. There was so many um, adorable, wonderful pieces, but it also is very inspirational you know um yeah they're good uh, they're good products that last for forever however sometimes they may not be attainable financially but their clearance is actually re a really good clearance so if you know you have your eye on something and you want to wait to clearance you're more than welcome to if you want to splurge and you know treat yourself with something go ahead you know no judgments whatsoever but i will say that their products are hefty uh, substantial um very well made so you can't go wrong um with getting anything from pottery barn but what i got from pottery barn is this lotion you will see in an upcoming video but this lotion it is so nice it feels so good uh if you don't know i'm a nurse and we foam in and out and then anytime you feel like your hands are dirty basically you're putting hand sanitizer on your hands constantly and it dries out your hands but this stuff a little bit goes a long way, but this stuff makes your hands feel very silky smooth. Um, I got, so this one's not for me actually. I got it for a gift. My niece is coming to stay with us for a couple of days and I thought I would treat her with a special gift. So this is gonna go in her goodie bag. But I also got, um, so I got her French lavender and then I got myself, rose and ivory to put into my uh, purse because you just never know when you need to get some lotion on your hands because my my hands get dry pretty pretty quick and then the last thing so I got three things the last thing is these marble coasters the sun is kind of blowing it out right now if you guys remember I or you may not it, you may not have watched it but I did weld a table with my husband and I, I sealed it, but I'm going to take the finish off and I'm going to, anyway, you probably don't want to hear about that. These coasters are for um, that table so you don't get any water damage because getting water out of wood, um, it's kind of hard. You see the ring of water. Um, you can, there's some tricks, but I'd rather not have to pull those out. And I got a set of four. So that's all I got. Um, but I hope you enjoyed this video. Like I said, I'm going to section it out and um, deliver this in very small chunks to you. It may be, you know, twice a week, once a week. I don't know um, as much as I can get, uh, edit it and get it out to you guys. <laughs> I hope you guys have an amazing day. You guys are wonderful. Don't forget to subscribe and comment down below. Tell me what your favorite thing was. I have a lot of stuff parked in my online shopping cart that you know I'll maybe revisit in the future. But let me know. Let me know what is your favorite. I love interacting with you guys in the comments. Hit the bell notification if you would like. Hit the like button guys. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.